over there you can kind of see my work site. And when I come in, I made these little partial stairs. There's a path. It was a very small deer trail and I've made it slightly larger by walking through it. And here, you can see it, you know? That's the deer trail that I turned into my path. And this is a relatively overgrown area when I came into it, very overgrown. Hardly see past anything. And I was here yesterday and getting some work done and I just came back a few minutes ago and I noticed something was different, you know? And uh, I was walking down to the creek down here and uh, just as I came, you know, I'm coming through my trail, I noticed there's something different. And I don't, I'm not sure if I have any videos up of this section. I don't think I do. But the creek is right down there where I've made some of my other videos with the pottery. And there is a lot of light you're seeing right here, right? Look at all that light coming through. And this place is very opened up today. And this is only one day since I've been down here. And look at this. Defoliated. Something ate everything. These were entire alder trees. Look at this. There was, there was a bush of alder saplings here and they've been completely defoliated. And this, this, this entire section's like that. There's a little stick that's been defoliated. A bunch of this has been, some of the maple got nibbled on, nibbled. Coming through here, I noticed this light source. I'm like, why am I getting hit in the face with the sun? That's not usual. It's shady down here. And I looked up, and it might be a little hard to tell, but all these salmon berries are all broken. I take a look around the corner and I see this. You can see the little shadows and pock marks. Those are all hoof prints. Big ones, tons of them. So something forced its way through here, one way or the other. I'm not sure if I can discern which direction they were going. Unless I find a good track. It looks like they were probably going downhill. No? Uh, no, they must have been going uphill. Those toes dug in. So they were going up. And they defoliated some of this and broke a lot of things down. Broke a hole right through here. Some of them came through here. And this section's defoliated, look at that. So they spent a little time here, nibbling. Next to the water. Oh, over here I noticed. Look at this. They just broke this entire dead bush down. There's a dead, uh, I'm not sure what it is, maple or something. Alder. They broke it all the way over and it's tipped that direction. South, you know, so. They were making their way more or less that way. They probably actually went up my trail. Came through here somewhere. I'll probably find some more tracks if I go down here. Let's see. Keep our eyes out. Yeah. Something walked up through here. I can see the depressions. You can just generally see that things have been pushed down there now. Deer make much smaller trails than this. And I think some defoliation down there too. Let's go down there. Yeah, some of these are impressions. Defoliation. Something was, a lot, of, a lot of something was eaten. There's defoliation down there, so they definitely came up through here. Spread out, enjoyed themselves, the whole herd. It's getting to be about that time of year. And I, I've seen them up this way before, you know. A few acres. I'll just go all over that. More defoliation, more tracks. Broken. Broken. They might have uh, snuck their way through here. Oh yeah, there's some defoliation on some of that. 
Yeah. They enjoyed themselves back here. They had a good old time. That's nice. It's good to know that there's elk about. Oh, and yeah, see, this is not my trail. This might have been a deer trail, but the elk definitely opened it up. I don't follow that trail. That is drops off a cliff. I don't do that. This is my trail. And I'm, I'll bet some of them came up here. Even. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Defoliation. Ate the tip off of that. Something did. They really like those alder leaves. Goats like them, too, so I'm not too surprised. But yeah, something trampled all that. That wasn't like that yesterday. So, it's a good sign. It's a nice area. Uh, yesterday, I actually saw an owl, and I think it might have been a northern spotted owl, which are fairly rare, which is cool, but we have a couple preserves around here and lots of forests, so I uh, was walking down, and it flew, and it landed over here on this tree, up in one of these branches. Right, let's go. Yeah, it was, uh, he was right up here. And he flew from over here and landed in front of me. He wanted me to see him. He was he was checking me out. And in fact, I don't know what that noise is. I, I believe the call that these owls make is a similar one to what I've heard. But as I got closer, he let me get pretty close. And then he flew over here, sat there and watched watch me for a while. I, I tried to get video, but the good video I got didn't record for whatever reason. And, the second video I got isn't that good, but I'll probably upload it. You guys can look at the grainy, shadowy image. It'll be interesting, but let's see where they were. He was right up here. He was uh, back on that branch right behind that tree. And uh, I guess it is attached to that tree, but it's the one that's facing outward right there. And uh, he was just chilling. Very beautiful owl. It was either a northern spotted owl or a barred owl. A butt they and they look similar kind of it could have I, I guess they hybridize sometimes too so that's always a possibility but it it looked more like the spotted owl but its face looked a little bit like the barred owl I don't know they're a little they're very similar looking so it's a little hard to tell and the size the barred owls are a little bigger but the spotted owls are known to not really have much uh, fear of humans and they'll just kind of like they're really curious so they'll get close to you like that one did I don't know that about the barred owls I know the barred owls are aggressive hunters and stuff but I've never heard about them uh, being easy to see. But yeah, keep you guys' eyes out and always be on the look for animal tracks and keep an eye on what the animals are doing because it's a good indicator for what's going on in the broader area around where you're working. Until next time.